What is going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Mission VR where it's my mission to bring you guys good quality VR content and today will be no exception. It is time for our monthly game watch video as it is August 2nd and we have three new VR games that are coming out here within the next month and a half to two months that look pretty promising and I'm actually pretty excited about that because if you watched last month's game watch video there was really nothing to report on and the games that I picked actually one of them was already released because that's kind of how bad the selection was of upcoming uh, niche VR games. These games obviously aren't the main Triple A titles we all know that are being released. Um, these are some games you, you may or may not have heard of um, that you should maybe put on your radar because they look actually pretty solid. Um, with that being said, guys, I was on vacation. That's why I haven't been uploading. So no worries there. I'm back now. Um, everything is situated. So ready to get uploading videos again. And another little thing, our channel has hit 8,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been given my channel. I really did not expect to be at 8,000 subscribers uh, pretty much a year and two months after I started the channel. Um, so pretty excited about that. I'm really happy with the way this is going. I love bringing the content to you guys. I, I really love being a VR YouTuber. Um, it, it's, it's a passion. It's become a passion. I love video games in general. And to know that I'm making an impact in the VR community is super awesome. So thank you guys so much for all the subscriptions and the comments you guys leave in the videos. I really do appreciate that. And I really do try to read all those comments comments that you guys leave so keep it coming keep doing that and drop a like on this video for today's purposes and if you aren't subscribed maybe go ahead and hit that subscribe button I tend to do a lot of game reviews and other VR related content like today's video but without further ado let's hop on into our first game to be on the watch for Okay, so with our first pick on this list, I, you know, this is a toss up because the next two games also look pretty good and one of them in particular definitely calls to me, but I have been waiting and I'm sure all of you have been waiting for a game like this to hit VR. Um, and it's coming and it actually looks really solid and this is called dead bait now make no mistake about it This is pretty close to dead by daylight and that's what the whole entire objective of this game is basically it's gonna be three versus one uh, Multiplayer matches where one player is gonna play as the murderer or could also play as a paranormal um, You know creature of some sort while there will be three survivors if there's the if the murderer uh, Scenario is picked or if there's another scenario So it actually goes with two scenarios, which is kind Kind of cool um where you can actually play as the ms misv agents which stands for military investigative subtract subtract mission failed we'll get them next time subtraction venture i guess i need to go and uh retake speech class um but either way long story short what's going on in this game is exactly what you think it is if you're playing as a survivor you're gonna have to complete a series of objectives to get out of the nightmarish environment you're in without being killed by the killer who is being played by another player so it's not ai which could be really really fun and it's going to create some amazing gameplay loops now as a survivor of course um you're not going to have access to weapons at least it doesn't say so it doesn't seem so and your whole entire goal is going to be to run away and try to get away from the killer um and as a murderer you can imagine your goal is to hunt them down now personally i as much as i love games like that i think the other side of this is going to be even more fun where you're going to actually have the team of three players is going to play as the misv agents so you're going to have rifles guns and ability to track the paranormal creature um down throughout the map and take it out now this game mode is going to be slightly different in the stretch of the creature's not own, uh, only objective is not to get away but also to kill you and your entire team so kind of gets uh, some hunt vibes going on um there's there's all kinds of different vibes going on in this game and so far from the screenshots it looks like it's going to be graphically pretty good and overall vr is waiting for a game like this and i really do think that this could fulfill a niche that hasn't yet been explored in vr which is that pvp horror style um dead by daylight type of gameplay so really really looking forward to this this game i'm going to be keeping a close eye on this one will more than likely pop a review out because this is kind of a game that i'm really looking forward to or a genre i should say and so far it says the release date is september 3rd so we will keep an eye out for that as we are about one month away from it so with our next pick on this list 
This one was also really hard to ignore just because this is definitely my style of game. And this is called Outlier. Now, this is being brought to you by Joyway, which if you aren't familiar with that developer, they're the developer that actually uh, made Stride, which is a really, really awesome platformer uh, VR shooter game that kind of mixes a lot of elements and pretty pretty much gives you the Mirror's Edge vibe in VR. It was a really amazing game with some amazing movement mechanics and, you know, just some uh, just an overall really good title. So this is coming from him. So you can tell by on the screen, the movement mechanics are all going to be there. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a RPG roguelike, um, you know, game where you're going to be going through these, these missions and, you know, these awesome, cool environments, you know, using a, ver a variety of weapons and just overall, the game looks really pretty so far. The way the weapons reload look really, really cool. It just looks unique. It looks kind of fantasy destiny style. The game looks pretty solid from the initial trailer. This is going to be one that definitely keep your eye on if you are into, um, you know, fast paced moving shooter type games like this. And I am really hoping that this game is going to eventually add some sort of multiplayer elements because I know Stride was working on that um, or at least a pretty solid story. So we will definitely see what this game has to offer. It looks a lot like Stride um, with some you know, newer elements that obviously Stride didn't have. So definitely one to keep your eye on and it looks like a solid game. So last, but certainly not least, we have Nine, The Splintered Mind Part 1. Now this game is being developed by Oculus Studios, so I would expect a Quest release, or at a bare minimum, both an Oculus Store and Steam release for this game. But this is a narrative-driven cyberpunk-style game that actually looks pretty polished if you're watching the trailer, and it looks like it's going to have a pretty immersive world with a a good story. So that's kind of why it landed itself on this list because, you know, right now there's definitely something to be said about single player campaign driven experiences in VR. There's not a ton of them out there, at least not a ton of them that are good. I mean, the ones that are out there, there's a couple here and there you find something good, but VR in general right now is really lacking a really deep in-depth, um, you know, first person story that it just we just haven't seen too much of it i mean we got lone echo which was pretty good but i mean games like you know that do have a campaign like zero caliber and i'm just going to use some of the shooters as examples because i play a lot of shooters but like zero caliber medal of honor sniper elite like all their campaigns were really lackluster i mean just generally lackluster medal of honor probably being the best of the bunch it at least got me um involved a little bit with some of the stuff that was going on but the other two really just had pretty much no campaign at all even though they that was what the basically the whole game was about so really looking forward to a narrative driven story experience i'm hoping for twists and turns and different things that you know i've when you're playing a single player story game you're really hoping to really fall into the universe and when you're in vr it should be even more so you should be really immersed into that entire universe like to the point where you know when the story is being told you're like wow i cannot believe i'm taking part in this story right now and i just haven't played too many uh vr games that have you know, handled that pretty well so far. So there's been a couple for sure, but um, we're definitely missing in that in that department. So hopefully nine, the splintered mind, the first part um, is going to conquer that. And, you know, with it being part one and them advertising part one, I'm definitely hoping that this game isn't going to be like a one hour or two hour experience, like at least give us, you know, six to seven, maybe eight hours with a one part. And please don't charge, you know, $900 for a single, a single part of the story. However, we're talking about Facebook here and and, you know, no amount of money is too much for them. So we will certainly see what happens. But the game looks polished. And so far from the trailer, it looks like one to definitely keep your eye on. Well, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found a new game, something you're looking forward to. I know I certainly did. All three of these games were not on my radar beforehand, so I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, like I said, I'm really, really excited about Dead Bait. Uh, I think it's going to be a game that's going to have a lot, a lot of replay value. Um, a good, good streaming game if you're going to, if you're a streamer, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I think it's going to create a lot of replay value, and I am excited about Outlier as well. Um, they just Stride was such an amazing game, so really, definitely looking forward to that. And I do think Nine's going to be good we'll just have to see what the story and um the different mechanics are like in the game but it overall looks pretty polished so definitely looking forward to these games on this list and i hope you guys are as well please do let me know in the comment section below drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one